One of my hobbies is to write short horror stories. I, I've always enjoyed horror. I, I grant that the vast majority of horror that lines Netflix uh, catalogs uh, or even books is, is filled with trash. But I, I wonder um, if you could talk to that for a moment because I, I continually have people challenging me on this and certainly I don't want to do anything that would lead anyone astray. Um, but I, 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 what's your thought on horror? I know that Flannery O'Connor isn't, isn't horror, but if horror is described as an intense feeling of shock, fear, or disgust, um, is there any value at all in, in sort of uh, the horror genre as it pertains to, to Christians and, and the imagination? So I think it depends a little bit on your, uh, on your character. I mean, on your... Um, yeah, your dispositions emotionally. So if you're very phobic, you know, it might not be good to watch horror movies. Or maybe maybe horror movies could somehow help you become less phobic. But uh, anyway, uh, you know, I think probably what's going on there partly is horror is a, is a way of shocking us with what's profoundly contrary to nature to draw us back to a, a love of the security of what's natural. And so I think... You know, partly the catharsis, it's the catharsis of experiencing what's grotesque or contrary to nature or terrifying as a way to restore a sense of appreciation of the ordinary and gratitude for it. And then some people, it's irascibility, like they want to kill the monster or whatever in the horror movie or see it killed or overcome to reinforce the sense that we have the power, the operative power to defend ourselves and defend the goods of nature. So I think it's got to do with that. Um, it, it's, yeah, I don't think that that's necessarily wrong. I just think it's probably not, most people temperamentally don't like being scared. Right. But some people do, some people do. I, uh, I, I've, I've tried to argue for it with a sort of modus tollens formula, you know? Um, if evil, if horror in, is intrinsically evil, then it would follow that, and then you would just fill in the blank. Dracula, uh, Dante's Inferno, um, Hansel and Gretel <laughs> would be would be inappropriate, you know. But they're clearly not. Even if I don't know why they're not, it would seem that they're not. Uh, maybe some less than others. Um, yeah, I, I don't think it goes into the category of intrinsically evil. It's it's kind of like I mean, it's just a different. It's more minoritary, but it's it's kind of like romance. I mean, romance can lead people astray. They can get very unrealistic views of human love, but it can also make them appreciate human love. And horror can make people appreciate all kinds of uh, natural goods that feel threatened in the horror movie or in the horror book, horror genre. Thank you for watching this clip. You can click here to watch the full episode. And I want to say a big thanks to our sponsors and to our amazing patrons for making all of this possible. Please do us a favor before you go, click that subscribe button and then the bell. And that way YouTube will be forced to let you know every time we put out a new episode.